The NFT really just kind of catalyzed both digital and generative art. The NFT plays a role in the development of generative art uh, in such a significant way, but like you got to take a step back and realize that the NFT actually plays a role in the significance of digital art. Both generative art and digital art are mediums that uh, up until the advent of the NFT were not as celebrated as the more traditional art forms like sculpture and painting, oil on canvas, etc. The value proposition of the NFT really does something very simple, which is it gives inherent value to a digital object by assigning scarcity and provable ownership of that digital asset in a way that no technology really offered before. More importantly, that happens on an open decentralized ledger, a blockchain that is immutable and non-modifiable. So when we put the blockchain and attach that to the history of generative art, we have so much energy. Um, and people became interested in it. Like, like hundreds, if not thousands of people have, have started to become very curious about it and really excited about it. So I think a lot of the artists who started working in the 1960s and 1970s and 80s, they worked in relative obscurity for most of their careers. A lot of those artists now are in their 70s, 80s, 90s. We still have that generation with us of people who worked in more traditional ways, began working with digital computers. And what we've seen in the last few years is a lot of new artists emerging. Um, I've never seen generative art have so much innovation, like so many new ideas coming at the same time. And it's just been extraordinary to see more opportunities and possibility for artists who are working in this form. The more people can participate in a more meaningful way in dialogue with the artist and artworks are in dialogue with each other. So yeah, the NFT really just kind of catalyzed both digital and generative art in a way that didn't feel like it had the gravitas uh, prior to that. I think one of the most important um, moment for the generative art and the algorithmic art movement is the birth of the blockchain. Autoglyphs and Larval Labs were able to produce the first on-chain generative artwork, but it really wasn't open to the public until Eric Calderon built out Artblocks. And so Artblocks is a major, major, major shift um, in all of this because it opened up this idea of producing on-chain generative art or algorithmic art uh, to the public. And so now all of these artists who are producing generative art or algorithmic art uh, over the last few years had an opportunity to put these systems that they were working with, uh, these algorithms that they were working with on-chain. Many generative artists were doing coding and creating algorithm to create works, managed with the blockchain to actually find a more efficient way to diffuse their work and meet with their audience in a very uh, direct way. And that really changed the whole paysage for the generative art uh, ecosystem. And this is where we've started to see like a new generation of generative artists that are today some of the leading figures of this post-blockchain generative art movement. The concept of generative content built on top of the distribution mechanisms of digital art using cryptocurrency or blockchain technology enables massive amounts of participation within a creative work by a larger audience. And I wouldn't be surprised also that the invention of the computer and the algorithmic art becomes one of the new movements that open the door to many new possibilities for a new generation of artists.